Hey, hello everybody. It's uh, Control Stick here again, uh, back for another video. Um, doing some different things today. I'm um, gonna open some cards uh, towards the end. Want to talk about a few things. Um, first and foremost, as you can tell, here I am um, on camera. For some reason, uh, I I don't remember asking the question in the last video, but but it feels like I asked the question. How many times do you want to see me on camera? And the answer in the comments a lot of times was multiple, man. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the important stuff. Uh, let's talk about cards, um, and that's what we're here for. So, uh, as I always like to say, I appreciate you guys. Uh, last video um, I did, um, we hit the 100 mark on subscribers. Uh, almost to 200 now um, as of shooting this video. So I do appreciate you guys just being here with me and commenting. Um, and uh, I, I enjoy talking to you guys through the comments and in any way that we do communicate. So I appreciate that. Um, I did real quick. I wanted to talk about, um, I do have a video that I had shot um, where I had opened some upper deck blasters that they had sent uh, that I'd ordered directly from their website wasn't, uh, I mean, I didn't get a lot there. Not really worth a post in the video. Uh, I didn't like the video I shot, to be honest with you. Didn't get any hits, so not really worth sharing in my opinion. But I did want to be transparent. Uh, all of the blasters that I have opened, except for those five from Upper Deck, and then two that I just found randomly out in the wild, I've all opened on camera, and you can watch them all on my channel. So... If that gives you an idea what those blaster boxes can give you. Um, again, it's all a gamble. It's all based on luck. Um, you know, think about it. I've opened 27 blasters, and that's uh, $540 before tax, if you just think of it that way, and 20 bucks a pop. Um, you know, so, and in no way am I telling you rush out and buy blasters unless you see them and you want to. I mean, it's, you know, it's, Certainly up to you. It's a it's a gamble in, in a way, but it's a twenty dollar gamble um, versus you know if you're opening up a you know two hundred dollar gamble where you know generally you're guaranteed hits. Um, but the other's fun. It's fun. So I mean you know you have to work within your means, live within your means. Uh, I am going to open some blasters today. Um, I did was able to find some. I drove for five hours yesterday, <laughs> checking at different stores trying to find some. In the next to last place I went. Uh, actually had um, all the ones I found. So I don't know. It's far, getting harder to find the blasters out there. Um, but, you know, open them if you find them and you want to. But again, your uh, mileage may vary. I'm, I'm not here to tell anyone that um, you are going to hit um, like I've been fortunate enough to hit with the um, the 20 I've opened on camera plus the 7 I've opened off camera that didn't really have anything. So that was just sort of my uh, uh, spiel for the day. Um, so some more fun things, um, trivia, I know everyone waits for trivia and this is the most important part of every video who cares about the cards. It's all about the trivia and today's trivia question may be a little controversial to some. Uh, it's a fair warning for everyone out there. It, it is controversial. Who shot first? Han, Solo, or Greedo? And of course, as with all of my trivia questions, there is only one correct answer, and I will let you know at the end of the video uh, what the correct answer is. And of course, uh, you let me know in the comments before the end of the video if you if you like, and let me know um, what your answer is, and then I'll tell you if you are right or wrong at the end of it. So, I uh, wanted to continue a little bit with the mailbag. I had that suggestion, um, you know, opening... Um, some of the things I get um, in the mail on camera. Um, that way I can share uh, my reaction to. And in fact, a lot of these I don't remember even opening or uh, ordering or what I, what they are. Um, so uh, you get to share that moment with me too. And now these I know are from a Carnage break I did uh, on um, Marvel Madness. I did these. So um, so and there so they should all be Carnage. Uh, let's see, there's a teal wave, Carnage, and I don't remember which of these I... I'll have to go through and see. I don't even know which ones I got um, to see which ones I didn't have. Uh, and they did a random draw, and I think I got that uh, on random. Um, oh, there's the red. I almost bought that on eBay. I'm glad that I didn't because I forgot that I got it. Um, and then a base. So, got some can Carnage cards. Very cool. Let's put a couple of those up. Uh, teal wave. 
I can't remember which of those I have and which I don't. Uh, I have a, a checklist. How do you guys keep track of all the cards you have, especially your PC cards uh, or even your sets? Um, do you, uh, for me, it's, it's gotta be a spreadsheet. I, I have to have a spreadsheet or I just wouldn't know uh, what I have and what I don't. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, let's see now this, I don't know what this is. Um, I've been part of a lot of whatnot breaks of cases or well, yeah, cases and just boxes. Um, this is probably what a lot of these are, um, but we'll go through them quickly. See if there's anything cool in them. Everybody packs stuff differently when they're sending it out, I've noticed. Not that there's a right or wrong way. Um, so I'm going to say these are all just base cards, so I'm not even going to open those here. Oh, we got a Old Man Logan, Blue Surge. Really enjoyed the Blue Surge. Um, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good parallel in the blasters, so... Uh, it's a Rainbow Dormammu, uh, Red Rainbow Modoc. Uh, Legion, that's a rainbow, uh, Mary Jane, rainbow, red parallel Wolverine, and uh, blue Modoc. Um, so is that, if that, I guess I didn't get any numbered hits there. Yeah, so, you know, and that's how it goes. I mean, that's how you get in on some of those breaks, and um, that's the breaks. Uh, let's see, I've got two more packages here. Uh, now this one um, is from Com C. Uh, and I ordered these cards back in January, and they finally got here. So um, I don't know if you guys have ever ordered from Com C. That's it's uh, really they've gotten behind, um, and so um, getting something from them is kind of surprising. Although I got another email, and I've got another one coming from. So seems like they're getting things worked out. Uh, so they will. Uh, you know, hopefully if you've ordered from them, they'll get your stuff out to you fairly quickly. All right, so uh, this is a metal a carnage. Um, I don't even remember what I saw. Some of these were just to finish my set. Uh, Marvel Beginnings, I think, there. Just some insert cards to finish that set up. Um, let's see, there's a 22 Flare Ultra Archangel. Uh, I think, so. yeah, there were some carnage cards on there. Now, the... Um, the way Compsy does these is they, they each card has a picture and a serial number uh, that they scan, and that's how they find your cards when they're fulfilling your orders. I don't even remember all these cards. This is a pretty cool Archangel card. And uh, another one. Oh, look at that. Archangel without his mask on, or his face, or his skin. Um, and then insert uh, another Carnage Blue Rainbow, or, or Blue. Uh, and then there's another Archangel there. 93 masterpiece uh, and I don't even I mean like I don't remember what all I ordered because again it was so long ago um, but <clears throat> it's cheap chip cheap shipping so uh, I was willing to wait there's Archangel that's a pretty good card there uh, these are I think just all um, beginnings inserts and then there's a carnage um, from the uh, 30th anniversary in 92. So, we're doing lots of carnage, even though we're an anti-Venom, uh, you know, channel here. Uh, I end up getting carnage because I can get, I can get a hold of his cards. Alright, last one. I think this is from another break on whatnot, so. Uh, no. Oh, I think he's, I think this is from whatnot, but it wasn't a break. It was just some random card. Sometimes I get on and spin the wheel. Yeah, that's what these are. Oh, we've got just randomness uh, from some of these wheels, but you know, you can find some cool cards. I think he opened a couple packs. I think I bought a couple packs of this. Uh, of the uh, 92 Marvel uh, Universe. And that's what a lot of these are. And then different hits. Um, I don't know that that's a hit. Um, that is um, Black Panther. And I don't know what's in here if there's anything we're looking at either, but we'll take a look. Dead Zone. Proctor. So um, I guess he's uh, pretty good at uh, watching over students as they take tests. 
Da -da -da -da. And these are all, yeah, the old Impel cards. I'm sure I have all of them somewhere. Uh, Cannonball. It's a red, I don't think it's a red Supernova. Jack of Hearts from the Marvel Beginnings, number one spot. There's a Sabretooth. Uh, acetate. I like these those type of cards. Oh, and that's uh, that's in platinum. That same uh, Typhoid Mary um, pose. It's well recognized um, in the platinum set. Okay, so that's the mailbag. Um, a couple things I, I wanted to cover. Just uh, as I think of them, I'm like I, again. I started uh, collecting again a few months ago, and and just if I can share any knowledge, I will. And if you can share knowledge with me, I love it. Um, but one of the things I was thinking about is where do you buy cards? Where can I find cards at? Uh, well, of course, um, a good place to start or go to, if they have them, is your local comic book or card shop, baseball card shop, any kind of card shop, if they have them. Um, now, I don't have anyone, any of them near me. I want about two hours away that does have some stuff, so I like to support local uh, when possible. And, um, you know, if I'm doing hobby boxes, uh, or sometimes you can find individual um, cards out in the wild if you want them. Um, of course, you know, we've done the blasters here. Uh, you can get those at retail play, uh, retail stores like Walmart or Target. Um, that's French. Um, and then uh, you can order like hobby boxes and sometimes blasters on, you know, the online retailers, the online card shops, comic shops like Steel City, Dave and Adams, blowout cards, different things like that. Um, you can get cards like I did here um, from Com C. Now um, you can usually get pretty good deals there. You can also sell cards on Com C, and that's C O M C dot com. And um, the shipping can be slow. Uh, it's you can get it a really good price. You know, really good. Um, you know, the cost isn't that expensive to ship them. I think you can do like four ninety nine and ship a bunch of cards. Um, <coughs> excuse me. However, it does take them a while. Um, to get to you, uh, even with expedited shipping. Uh, of course, you have eBay. Uh, a lot of folks will purchase things on eBay. You can watch, depending on when auctions are ending, you can get good deals, uh, you, always, or you can be overcharged. That's just kind of the nature of eBay, if you've ever done any shopping on eBay. Um, and then uh, whatnot. There are folks I know that don't like the platform, and that's fine. I enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of a gamble. You can you can get in on a break of a box without paying the full price of a box, so it's kind of nice. You could, you have the option to get more hits potentially for less investment, but it's all sort of a gamble. So, um, but I do enjoy whatnot um, the app um, and purchasing and seeing what I can get there. In fact, I've got a couple really big cards coming that I will share on the next video. Um, another way to collect cards is what's called EPAC. Upper Deck does an online, um, online trading platform online. Um, you can open digital packs of cards on Upper Deck's EPAC, EPAC website. Um, the most recent release they did Marvel Anime 2. They've released on there where you can buy boxes, you can buy cases, you can buy packs, open them up digitally. The base cards uh, are, um, you know, I, th I don't know if I've talked about this before. You can combine them um, and make uh, cards you can actually send home, and then all the insert cards can be sent home, and you can have the physical cards. Um, so it's, it's, it's sort of another interesting way. It's a lot easier to trade there than it is uh, in real life. Now, it used to be when we were kids, we traded on the playground at school. Um, this is sort of the playground at school uh, on the EPAC website. Um, but... You know, it's not for everybody, and it's very easy to just kind of click and open more packs, whereas if you're buying them in the store or whatever, you know, you kind of have to drive out there and then make the, um, you know, make the decision to buy them. Um, whereas when you're just online, you're just like, oh, just one more. I know I'm going to hit something. So, again, be responsible. Try to be responsible with your purchases. I know I've fell down the well before of just opening more than I really wanted to, uh, and it's just, you know, it's just something that you do. Um, uh, and then before I open, um, I've got some, I've got five boxes here to open. I had one question, uh, in the comments. Um, someone asked, how do I store cards? So I'm going to see if I can get this on camera. So I have, um, I'll just move the camera around here. So I have a binder. This is how I store all my sets. I'm just going to just destroy these cards here. So we'll get them out of the way. All right, so how do I store my set cards? So 
you can go on to uh, eBay or um, you know Amazon, wherever you like to purchase, and you can purchase these binders. That the um, and this is how I do it. Everyone may do it differently, but it has like plastic and ins uh, something inserted inside this. It zips up, so it's keeps them safe. The one thing I don't like about these now, I, I do like that they're attached. There's no ring. Um, I found that some of the cards I had from the '90s um, that that I had. Uh, some of the cards from the 90s that I had actually kept in three ring binders, they had indentions in the cards uh, and they weren't, you know, I didn't store them well and I just didn't like how the th the rings wear out and I don't know, just wasn't a fan. So the one thing I don't like about these is there is no back. The back side is just more cards. Um, so that's, you know, it's, I do put them inside penny sleeves before I put them in there and that's what's nice about these is the penny sleeves will fit and then they will fit inside of these binders. Um, and these are um, some Ben Brady cards. Uh, if you're watching Ben, shout out. Hey, what's up? Good job on these cards. Look forward to seeing him in um, the flare set. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, so this is kind of how I do it. And this is, in case you're wondering, this is my platinum binder. Uh, it's almost complete. I've got a bunch of cards coming to complete up my, um, there's a couple base cards I'm missing and then um, the the comp, the variant covers and some of the other inserts I'm missing, but they are coming and I should have almost all of them uh, here pretty soon. But that is how I do that. And then as far as, um, you know, how do I store them otherwise, there are all sorts of boxes available uh, that you can get. But I actually like um, a box like this is I've got a couple of these and they fit the cards with the sleeves. I've got sort of a I don't know, felt or something inside. You can also do the, the cardboard boxes, um, but I like these just because I saw them, and so I've, you know, I've sort of used them um, as I've been opening, things like that. But I was asked that question, and, you know, if you have other ideas that I didn't mention that you prefer, uh, of course, leave that down in the comments, and we can, um, you know, as a community, hopefully come up with a... A good way to store our cards. Um, and anyway, I did want to share that. So let's get to ripping. I know that's the that's the fun part here. So here we go. Let me adjust this so you guys can see everything. You can see old anti venom here. So I will. Um, <laughs> I will, just because I've had good luck, I will open these as long as I can find them, but I'm afraid that there might not be that many left out there. I don't think they did a whole lot, a whole lot of the blaster boxes. Um, I don't know. That's just the way, that's just my impression based on what I've seen. It could be that there's more coming, um, but with the number of hits that have come out of them, um, I don't know. I just don't know. It's just been really good for the hobby, in my opinion. Galactus, Ghost Rider, Blue Surge. I think one of the comments on one of the videos was, is can I keep my cards separate uh, when I place them down? And, and of course the short answer is probably not. I'm talking and, and doing this at the same time. It's kind of like walking and chewing gum. I don't do well with that either. Nah, just kidding. But um, as I'm talking, it's kind of hard to uh, to remember which pile to put them in. So I just kind of throw them and I go back through them later. It's, it's always fun to go back through them later and see what all I have. I already think I'm out of order with these piles. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, Electro Blue Surge. Um, yeah, there's a, a Silver Samurai. A little preview of what's to come in the next video. Actually, a preview of what's to come in the next video. Okay, a little spoiler there, or not non spoiler, but a little teaser. All right, there's Mole Man, handsome fella. There's Arno Stark, and there's our hit. Uh, we're gonna go with the Blue Surge, or the uh, Blue Tracks, excuse me, Black Panther. Number 447 out of 499. And where are my penny sleeves? Hiding under all these cards. I, does someone have a great system for keeping their cards um, 
<laughs> keeping their cards organized. Because I have piles until I don't. So <laughs> if anybody needs any base that I have on a trade or do anything like that, um, of course, hit me up. I have lots of extras. Uh, as you can see, most of my uh, binders filled out. And there's a red rainbow, Norman Osborne. And did we get, gosh, what do we, look at the hits. Is that a yellow spotlight or is that a yellow rainbow? It's a yellow rainbow. So we got a yellow rainbow and a red rainbow in one box, along with our, well, Blue Surge comes in every box. So that's cool. I'll take that. Or every pack, excuse me. All right, let's go to box number two. And boxes, of course, go on the floor you know, when we're opening. So you say you're like a kid. You know, wrappers go on the floor, everything goes on the floor. You pick it up later. Ben Brady, Angel. Namor, Tarantula, there's a Rainbow Uatu, and um, Black Bolt. Uh, again, my piles are messed up. Sorry if that, if that uh, <laughs> offends those out there uh, that are offended by that. I, yeah, it, it bothers me too, but, you know, what can you do? A Black Widow. Uh, this is the uh, what-if cover of uh, Black Panther. Again, going into all these different piles. Amadeus Cho and Red Skull. All right, oh, looks like I saw our hit there. Uh, Juggernaut. Multiple Man, um, which I'm apparently collecting now, if you saw the last video. <laughs> So I'll add that to my collection. Blue Tracks Beyonder. Um, what's our number on that? 125 out of 499. Okay. And Iconic Covers Beta Ray and Gore the God Butcher. Let me know in the comments what character you collect outside of, you know, the big one, Spider Man and, you know, Black Widow and Carnage and. That you don't think anyone else out there collects. Mine is now multiple man, and then potentially blob. I, I yeah, I don't don't ask. Um, but uh, so I may have some. Oh, look at that. There you go. All right. Well, that's uh, karma if I've ever if I've ever seen it. Uh, Agent Venom, and then we have Scarlet Witch, Blue Surge, and Red Rainbow Cyclops. Very cool card. And Red Hulk. Um, I think that's Agent Venom. I think we've decided that's Agent Venom that he is. Whoops. That he is choking. Maybe if somebody's read that Thunderbolts 2012, uh, they can tell us in the comments. But I think it's Agent Venom. Um, yeah. You can go there. Multiple man until I put you in my PC pile. All right. Three more boxes left. Uh, the, you know, like I said before, I do uh, enjoy these, um, and, and, and you know, open responsibly. If you get the chance to open them, and you want to, do it, but don't rush out and buy, you know, a case of these things if you ever see it somewhere on, you know, you know, with the thought that you're going to open some fire, so I may not hear, and that's just how it goes. Uh, all right, Doctor Strange on the Blue Surge, or Red Rainbow Mephisto. Getting some red rainbows here. And then Legion and Spider-Woman. And there's Ghost Spider and Medusa. Oh, and there's a purple rainbow. I actually think I have more black rainbows than purple rainbows, even though the black is supposed to be more rare. Um, that's a purple rainbow Spider-Girl. Emma Frost, I wish she had an original card on this set. That would have been great. And Firestar. Oh, we got Noel. Hey, there's our boy Carnage. Dormammu. Red Skull. Enchantress. And, whoops, High Series Noel.
Odin. Blue Surge Venom. I don't think I have that. I'll take that. Rainbow Night Thrasher. There's our box hit. Uh, Teal Wave Black Cat. And her card number is 646 of 799. All right, two boxes left. Which set are you guys uh, excited for that's coming up this year? I, next set, as far as I know, uh, is going to be annual. Uh, as far as comic cards and our and original art set um, is annual. I know the Doctor Strange set just came out. I'm not super interested in that, so I haven't gone after that in any way. Um, and then um, annual, and then I know that uh, Allegiance is coming out. Uh, Flare, as I mentioned earlier, Flare are always really nice cards. Um, there's the Wolverine um, set coming out, uh, and these all are supposed to be, I don't know, kind of by this summer, but we'll see with Upper Deck Schedule if those do end up coming out like that. But uh, what, uh, you know, what set are you looking forward to? Personally, it's any set that has Anti-Venom. Hopefully any, it's one of these sets will have Anti-Venom so I can go after those. Aries. Hmm. I, or Iron Man. I always want to say the name on the top, but it's Hawkeye. It's not Iron Man. Uh, there's New Warriors and Kid Omega. Yeah, I drove for five hours. Went to five, no, six, seven stores. One of them had these. Uh, some of them didn't even sell them as far as I could tell. So that's just how it goes. But you know, you do what you do. You do what you must for the uh, <laughs> for the cards. Uh, was that uh, was it yellow rainbow? Always those are always can yeah. Always hard to tell. Yellow rainbow, very good storm. Both storm cards in this set are very good. Uh, and there's Superior Spider Man. I feel like I've said that a hundred times. Um, both you know, Magneto cards are great. Storm cards are great. Um, but I'm gonna say it again. So. All right, Daredevil, base. Well, I'm, t I'm opening these poorly. Hey, there's Spider-Man on the Blue Surge. I got Spider-Man and Venom. Very cool. There's our Blue Rainbow, Black Widow, our Red. Oh no, that's Red Tra or Red Prism. Okay, hey, we got a Red Prism. Should be out of 199, so it's 95 out of 199. Very cool. And then Angel. That's the uh, High Series Angel. All right, uh, one more. So let's see, we got our hit already. I don't know that in where that other box one was. I'm sure I've already thrown it in the pile. I will find it later. All right, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. Uh, YouTube, don't copyright strike me for that. I know it was really close to the original, um, so please don't copyright strike me there. Uh, let's see, Electra. Uh, let's see, we've got, uh, hmm, what is that? Namor. Na oh, oh, man, yellow spotlight. I tell you, these, they make you pause every time you see them. Like, what kind of card is that? It's a yellow spotlight. Uh, but two hits in that box, so that's cool. Um, Namor. All right, last box. Sorry to get overly excited there. It's as genuinely, I thought, man, did I hit something cool? Uh, or am I hitting what's, you know, what should be typical out of these boxes? On the floor you go, box. All right. Last blaster box of the day. I do appreciate you guys sticking through this and watching. Hopefully we get something hot. Um, and if not, we're still enjoying the cards. Drax the Destroyer. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Nick Fury. I don't think I have that. Baron Zemo and Loki High Series. All right. Colossus. Base. Blue Surge. Gambit. I'm not getting fooled again. Yellow Spotlight. Gwen Stacy. Numbered uh, 371 out of 399. There's Spider, I mean Spot. <laughs> and then Magneto, I mean Onslaught. Okay, very cool. So a couple, uh, and I don't know if I have them. Yeah, I do. So there are a couple sizes, and I was going to mention this earlier in the video, of penny sleeves. Now, um, and I don't know what the official sizes are. I like the penny sleeves that just don't have much extra on them, uh, either the sides or the top. Uh, there are others, like this one, that are wider, and of course they're better for bigger cards. There's a lot more room, a lot, chance, a lot less chance of uh, you know bending the corners when you're putting them in. But if you're careful, I just prefer the smaller ones. There's just less extra. Uh, on them, um, but that's personal preference. So, um, you know, whichever you can find or you are into, um, you know, is 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 great. It's just, you know, it's a, again, it's a personal preference for for you out there. I like, especially those smaller uh, ones, will fit in the binders a little better, a little easier to get them in and out. Especially if you're wanting to look at the back of the card or you're moving them from one binder to another. Uh, I like the smaller ones a little better. All right, Drax. Heather Locklear, Invisible Woman. Heather Locklear, Invisible Woman. Star Lord, Red Rainbow. And Photon. Boy, that Red Rainbow doesn't go there. Neither does that blue that blue <laughs> surge that I can see at the bottom. It's peeking out. All right, last pack. Is this last pack magic or last pack tragic? Uh, we shall see. All right, there's Ares, Spider-Man Base, Rogue, Blue Surge, Rainbow, Beyonder, and Dazzler. All right, so that was, that was our five blasters, and that's probably pretty typical of opening five blasters. Um, you know, again, results may vary. I've seen lots of big hits and seen lots of duds. Seen, seen some people open more than I have and just have, um, you know, opened, uh, you know, nothing of significance. So, um, you know, open with caution, I guess, if you will. Uh, but uh, I won't go on any longer. I do appreciate you guys sticking with me for this. Uh, I've, uh, oh, let's do trivia, of course, the most important part of the video. I know you've been waiting for that answer. So... In the beginning, I asked you who shot first, Han Solo or Greedo. And of course, and this is, there's only one answer, Han Solo. Yeah. And at that, I'm going to end it. I do appreciate you guys being here. I've been Control Stick, and uh, until next time, I'm going dark.